So this question here, it seems a lot like the mean value theorem, doesn't it? Like if we just think about the mean value theorem, um, the mean value theorem, that would say that um, FB uh, minus FA over B minus A, uh, that's equal to some F derivative C. So, I mean, um, it's not exactly the same thing, but you can kind of see it's pretty close. Because you notice that here, this is FC, and this is essentially the integration. Um, so FC here is like an order down in terms of differentiation, which is kind of what's happening here. So I think if we do some kind of creative renaming, we could get the mean mean value theorem. So if we say let um um let's say f x equals the integration from a to x f of t dt. So because f is continuous, then this function f of x is also continuous, so this one will be continuous on um, AB. So by using the mean value theorem on F, we can say F um, F of B minus F of A over b minus a that would equal f derivative of c for some c in um a b so now we try and get it back to the lowercase f so that would mean then this would be the integration of a b f of t dt all over b minus a and then f derivative uh c that would be um uh f of c so actually it looks like it it matches up one over b minus a integration from a to b ft dt equals fc then yeah okay so that's um that's exactly what we need i'm just a little um i mean i guess technically i think the mean value theorem says that c is in the open um yeah so that is a subset of the closed AB, so it's still technically true, so it still works. So I, I think it's okay. Okay, now the next one here. Oh no, that's, uh, sorry, that's the same one again, isn't it? Oh yeah, here, now, uh, it's similar to the, the first part, so the, the reason for the M so you want to see uh, question 200 for the M, for why the M exists. Basically, it's a, it's a mean value theorem. Now, again, likewise, just like last time, again, using the fundamental theorem of calculus, you could define the function f of x as the integral from a to x, um, f of um, um, t dt that's that's a fundamental what's called theorem of calculus 
Yeah, yeah. So this will be um, continuous because um, that's continuous. Although I don't know if we've proven that, if that's a theorem yet, I'm not sure. Anyways, we can now use the extreme value theorem, which means uh, there exists uh, a minimum in um, AB for F, so call it C. So that means uh, F of C will be less than uh, F of um, uh, X for X in a b and there's no equal here because uh it's not non-constant so let, let's see oh actually we should call it m so that means um Oh, but we want the, we want the lowercase f actually here. So I don't think it's the mean value theorem actually. I mean the extreme value theorem here. Um, so, hmm. Mm. Okay, let's go back in time. So um, the first part we've proven in, in 200. So we know that uh, we have an M such that F of M is equal to this. So we need to show, so now we're required to prove there exists an M such that f of m is less than that integration um, which is equal to f of m so we need to show that oh actually so f of m is less than f of m well that actually is the extreme value theorem um this is true provided uh, m does not obviously equal m um Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about this one, to be honest. I think the logic's okay. So let's just recap here. See question 200 for the existence of M. That's the mean value theorem. So that was question 200, wasn't it? Yeah. And again, so actually, I don't, I don't actually, I don't actually need this here. I can delete this because that's not relevant for the next part. Okay. And then let's, um, how do I, how do I grab this? No, no, that's not it. The, where's the tool for is this it? No, that's not it. How do I how do I grab this? Just no, I can't can't I can't grab it. Okay, anyways, that's a bit annoying. Ah 
Okay, question 22. Yeah, okay. And then we're required to prove there exists an M such that F M is less than this, which we know is equal to F capital M. So in other words, we're required to prove um, uh, that is less than that for some M. But the extreme value theorem says that this is true, provided that M does not equal M. So the only thing I'm not 100% happy on is the equal situation. But I think that is why it says not equal to a constant. So, yeah, okay. I could probably formalize this a bit more, but I think the secret to this question is using 200 plus extreme value theorem. That's what I think, I'm afraid. I can't, can't, uh, can't continue. I have to wrap it up there for today.